Hey, good. Uh, good. Is my uh, is my microphone? I don't have my microphone. It's probably using the computer microphone. So we'll do a little plug and play here. Okay, there we go. Can you hear me now? Zach, what's up? Yeah, sorry, you had to wait 36 hours this time as opposed to uh, the normal 24, but you'll get me 12 hours because you'll get me tomorrow morning at 7-ish a.m. So um, uh, a lot in store tonight. So I'm going to gonna do Hobby Evolution live this evening. Um, I'm going to break some, some boxes, and uh, I want to talk about uh, some of my recent discoveries uh, so don't overlook those commons and in those boxes that that you stash away. So um, so yeah, so I I did not obviously go live this morning. So I get terrible sinus headaches and sinus pressure. Fortunately today, um, Porter can watch now since it's at night. Nice. Uh, what's up, Porter? Um, by the way, Zach and Porter, your cards are on the way. You can get that 91 Donruss set finished. Um, so I actually, that went out today. So probably what's today, Thursday. Um, so maybe Saturday in your mailbox. Um, Herman, what's happening? I am here. So I, uh, I have terrible, uh, I get terrible sinus headaches and sinus pressure. Fortunately, uh, today's wasn't as bad as, as what they have been in the past. So last year I actually had some of the worst episodes for like, gosh, probably three weeks. Um, like I don't want to say debilitating, but th just knock me out. Um, and nothing helped. Uh, the only thing that provided, uh, partial relief, like in the time was, walking on the treadmill. So I would, and for like a week and a half, George, what's up? Good morning. Uh, uh, good, good morning to you. Um, so, uh, and, and, uh, I should have jumped on the treadmill, George, but that's one of the only things that helps with like my real bad sinus pain where it's just in my head. And I mean, I'll just rub my face. Um, I'll try neti pots. I try, over-the-counter, um, you know, sinus pressure medication, uh, ibuprofen, like nothing gives me any relief. Um, and walking is actually the best because it, it gets all of that stuff moving around. Um, but then it makes it, the downside is it gives me relief as I'm walking on the treadmill. I get to sweat some of it out, but afterwards, it's almost like a double whammy where all of a sudden it gets super dry and I'm in like twice the amount of pain. Um, and then obviously when I lay down, it all, you know, builds up. And I think that's what happened last night. I just had some, some buildup. Um, I woke up probably 3 a.m. and that's when it like really hit. Um, so I slept in. I actually took the day off from work just to avoid uh, a massive amount of screen time um, just to to help my eyes. Um, so, and it's kind of gone away. I'm still a little, I still have a little of that. Um, but, uh, it's, it's not as bad. And I think the reason, so yesterday it was super cold. Like I had to run out, uh, run an errand yesterday morning and it was seven degrees and it was super windy, super like 40 mile an hour winds here. Um, so I think that cold, dry air really messed with, um, with my sinuses today, it was much better. It was still windy, but it was, it hit almost 40 here. Um, so it was kind of a, a nice relief. So enough about my, uh, my sinus, um, my sinus problems. Um, so I thought you may have retired from the hobby after selling that Portnoy card. So yeah, so Zach brings up the Portnoy card and that's, uh, uh, partially what I wanted to talk about tonight was, uh, that's like my second find. It hasn't sold. It's listed on eBay. Um, but I was digging through some boxes this week, uh, looking for dollar cards, looking for cards to stock in my store for 99 cents. Um, and I had, uh, a stack. This was, this was actually a, a box. That's kind of a leftover from my sport lots selling days where it was, 
um, in a 5,000 5, count box by year. And then I had little post-it notes um, for each set. So this was 2014. Um, and there was a stack of Allen and Ginter. And I remember seeing something and it might have been a, a discussion I had over the summer on Allen and Ginter relics where I had sold uh, a relic for like 50 Johnny Bananas, a Johnny Bananas relic sold for uh, 50 bucks. And I couldn't believe it. And that was unfortunately, I bought a case of Ginter and that was like one of the probably the second or third highest sale, which is absolutely awful for Ginter um, in my um, personal um, selling in the last six, seven years. Um, so somebody re you know, somebody saw that and I was surprised. They're like, oh yeah, look at, look at the Portnoy relic. So I looked at the Portnoy relic and it's, it sells for like 300 bucks, just a, a basic relic. Um, so that, that really caught me off. Um, so I was digging through these Ginter cards from 2014. Uh, there were a couple Portnoy. So I tossed them aside and I'm like, somebody's going to, Barstool's big. Somebody's going to pay a dollar for these cards. So I put those. There was an Iron Cheek. There was another Barstool blogger. Uh, the KFC, his his initials are KFC. Um, who else was in there? Um, there was one other. Oh, Anthony Bourdain. So pulled those aside. I'm like, these are all 99 cent cards. Before I listed the Portnoy, I had two of them. Before I listed them, I looked on eBay and I'm thinking maybe, maybe they sell for five five bucks. Um, I was wrong. They sell for a lot more than that. The last like five sales on eBay, Allen and Ginter from 2014, Dave Portnoy, right around a hundred dollars. Um, a couple of sold for like 105 shipped, um, a couple for like 95 shipped. Um, so I looked at like the current listings in like the last 30 days of, of sales. So I looked, there's the, the lowest priced one was I think 75 shipped. Um, and then there was one for like 95 shipped. So I, I came in at, and priced mine at $90 uh, free shipping uh, for the, you know, uh, for each card. Um, so it, it's got a lot of views. It hasn't sold, but it's only been up for what a day. Um, I listed it yesterday. So the Iron Sheik sold for 99 cents already sold in a couple hours. Uh, the KFC barstool guy sold for a buck fifty, um, and then there was one other I can't remember. I haven't shipped it yet, but uh, there were three total that sold within hours. Um, so some of those those wild Ginter cards and and some of the oddball stuff you can find, like uh, the Mia Ham Sports Illustrated for kids. I thought it would be a couple bucks, um, and I looked it up and. Uh, looked like comps were like around 25. I put it at auction because the, the comps were kind of all over the place. I put it at auction and ended up selling for like 60 bucks shipped. Um, it was like $56 plus three fifty shipping or something. So it sold like for like 58, 59 bucks shipped. Couldn't believe it. Um, and that was in like just a random box, not even in a sleeve. So some of these cards are like, and I, I find it with basketball because, uh, you know, I've mentioned several times that I'll just stuff basketball cards, you know, in the, the past five, six years of, of buying collections, anything basketball, uh, I'd pull like Jordans and Pippins um, and, and some Shacks, but everything else just I kept in the boxes and I found uh, I, I found a lot of gems. And then last summer, it kind of that's how I really got into the NBA this year was through the basketball. I found a prism silver Chris Middleton rookie that ended up selling for 300 bucks. Um, a Bradley Beal prism rookie sold for like 75. And, and some of those cards were, were just crazy that I, you know, I was going to list them for a couple bucks. There's another one that I did list for 99 cents. Um, but mine was in pretty bad condition. It was a Bo Jackson, uh, pink classic card. Um, like the classic game set. So I guess the pink one, the pink border is more rare and they sell for like 30, 40 bucks. Um, mine was like bent. So I, 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 you know, if I would have seen the $30 comps, I probably would have came in priced it at like five bucks just because it was in 
you know, poor to fair to good condition. Um, and it sold like snap. And I didn't realize it until right after it sold. It sold so fast. That's when I knew I underpriced it um, because it sold within like I listed. Um, so uh, <laughs> check comps if you're unsure. Oddball cards sometimes basketball inserts from the nineties, you know, a lot of them I'll go through and I'll find one that it's like, Oh, Hey, I bet this is worth some money. And it's not, it's a 99 cent card where I'll find a Kevin Garnett that'll sell for 15 or 20 bucks. That doesn't look like anything special. So, um, check those common boxes. Uh, not the bow that I bought from you. This was the Bo Jackson pink one was from, I don't know, six months ago. I don't think you were the buyer on it. You might have been. Um, it was the pink. Uh, it's a classic card. Um, but it was probably six. It was probably in the summer when I sold it. Um, I'm not sure. You may have bought it. I don't know. Um, but it was, yeah, it was like six months ago. Um, so that's what I wanted to talk about. Uh, George, I will be getting into a commons box soon. Man, it's it's so much fun. I just love digging. Last night I was uh, watching AEW wrestling, um, and I I like to sort and ship. Kind of, I get like ADD where I've got so many shipments that I I need to do, but I I just can't sit still for like four hours to ship. So I I take it like an hour at a time, and I'm like, okay, it's seven o'clock. I'm gonna stop at seven thirty. I'm gonna sort cards for a half an hour go back, ship for an hour and, and kind of do that because I, you know, I kind of lose focus at times. So I just love throwing, throwing a, bo a monster box, especially one that I haven't dug through. Um, so I was going through some wrestling cards last night, watching wrestling and found some like 2015 heritage, 2016 heritage. Um, I've got some stuff of like the older 80s stuff. Um, some are in my store. Some I haven't listed yet, but love going through those um, those wrestling. Uh, George, it's funny enough that stemmed from the Kellenet conversation you were in the other day. Yes. And that is uh, somebody mentioned Alec Baum uh, Chrome um, or, or maybe it was more than that. Um, but yes, yeah, somebody else mentioned that Alec Baum chrome are going for crazy prices but yeah that kellenic conversation and i think i don't know star stock but i think there's something funny with i don't know who tweeted out the the sales because i think whoever tweeted out the sales of the jared kellenic bowman paper selling for 20 bucks i don't think they were the seller i think it was just like kind of an ebay sold search i'm not familiar with star stock but i really question those sales um, because I've looked at, at eBay comps. I went to comp C, um, and like Kellen, they were, they were selling for more than I expected, but not even close to 20. Like you can go on eBay and I think you can find them for like six or seven bucks still. Um, so I, um, manipulation on some of those sales on star stock. I've not, I, I don't know anything about it. Uh, but I am definitely a little uh, curious about some of those sale prices. Uh, I've heard that star stocks tends to sell high. Um, yeah, which is weird. And I don't know. It, I don't know. Is, is it like the sneaker kids? Is, is that kind of their platform? Um, people not aware of like eBay and ComC. Um, it's, it's really it's really weird because people are day trading. That's a good point. That's a good point because it is easy to, it's, it's kind of the, they've kind of taken comp C's, you know, flip mentality to another level. So yeah, I, you're probably onto something with, with that, with uh, regards to star stock. Um, so I've got a couple boxes here that I wanted to rip. So these I bought from uh, blowouts, black Friday sales. Uh, funny story about these. So this is a 2016 update mega box. So there's a couple Chrome packs in here. Um, I bought a sealed case, a sealed blaster case, and I accidentally unsealed it. Now, usually blowout will send the cases double boxed, at least in some of my 
past dealings, they will double box sealed cases. That was not the case with this case. Um, it came and I, I, I'm always nervous because if I was going to flip this case, what if they sent me the wrong one? Um, you know, I don't, I don't want to ship, you know, some, some crappy box or some crappy case. Um, and then all of a sudden there, it's just a big to do. So I wanted to, uh, guarantee because you can see on the side, usually it's printed, you know, 2016 tops, or usually there's some designation. Um, and there probably was, and I just figured, oh, they double box everything and, oh, hey, there's the blaster boxes. So it's no longer a sealed case. So I'm not, I don't feel as guilty uh, digging into a box or two. So uh, these, I think I bought for 25, 20 or 25 per box uh, was the the sale, you know, times 16 in a case. Um, I think they have, I think this is a really uh, underrated set. Uh, the Trevor Story rookies are in here. Uh, Tim Anderson for Zach. Um, Tim Anderson rookies are in here. Um, some of the pitchers, Blake Snell, I think, is in here as a rookie. Aaron Nola, maybe. But there's about five guys that I all I feel are all undervalued, um, especially Trevor Story. Um, so I bought these as kind of a speculation, and I'm just going to hold them aside to see uh, what they do. Um, and I, you know, I kind of went into it thinking by the summer, these could be, you know, I paid 20 or 25. These could be $50 blaster boxes or more. Zach says, uh, TA very undervalued in the hobby. He is. Um, and I actually was surprised. I traded you a couple, uh, the box shaking is giving me anxiety. Uh, I traded you, I think a couple Tim Anderson rookies. Um, I had like four or five in my quarter box um, and I pulled them out and they were, uh, they ended up selling for like 10 bucks and they were in my quarter box in February, last February. Uh, okay, cool. I commented, I saw that, uh, that hat you were wearing, that green hat in your video tonight. That was, that was pretty cool. Break that out. 2016 tops update. I'll open the base first. Michael Homer, his rookies are in here. Uh, oh, they've got these all every which way. Edwin Encarnacion, Steve Pierce, Al Kaline. Here's a Trevor story. This is not, uh, this is a checklist, it looks like. So I will sleeve him. Austin Barnes and Sung Wan Oh. He's a South Korea, South Korean guy. He's from Jung Eup. And I bet I butchered that name. Yep, that got me famous in Korea for a while. So what else do we have here? We've got Paul Goldschmidt. Who's that? Bud Norris. I think Bud Norris, did he throw a no-hitter for the Cardinals? Or was that, there was a Bud. Tyler Clippard. So a, I wonder if that's, is that some type of, it was upside down. I'm always curious when they're upside down. Edwin Encarnacion. Junk. Matt Joyce and Chasine. I'm not used to uh, to opening on the camera like this. So here we've got Jose Fernandez, Aletimus Diaz, they're upside down. Drew Storin, Matt Moore. Jeez, these are all upside down. Jose, oh, Jose and Jose Barrios, Barrios, his rookies are in here. Keith Urban, Sam Dyson, and Jeff Francoeur. Yeah, I forgot about Barrios. He's another rookie that's in there. Is my internet being funky again? My, I, I tell you, this is why I can't go live on in prime time in, in the card room. 
So Saturday, George, when I, I'm going to be on with George on, on his channel, um, I am going to be in my rec room uh, because this room is like the worst uh, Wi-Fi connection. And I'm looking into somebody commented about the uh, some like booster. So I'm going to look into that. Um, but yeah, this uh, this room is is notorious for awful connection. Bo Park from this. He's from South Korea, Buwon County, George. Where's Buwon County? Hey, first Cub, Jake Arietta. Add him. I received a couple packages today that I need to add the count. Tyler Naquin, rookie. Kershaw, here's a insert. Is that Eddie Murray? This card, Triggs and Molly, and Unel Escobar. So those are the base. So we got a Barrios rookie and a, a Trevor Story checklist. Now here's the Chrome. Oh, nice. Kyle Schwarber. Oh, hey. How about Aaron Nola? Don't think Aaron Nola has a regular rookie in this. I think it's only that debut as Drupal Cabrera and Tony Gwynn. That was a heck of a pack. We've got one more left. Aaron Nola rookie and a Kyle Schwarber. And hey, doubled up on the Cubs Chrome rookies, Albert Almora, neither of which are with the Cubs. How about that? The base packs weren't very good, but we hit it on the chrome with a Blake Snell and Aaron Nola rookies, Robert Stevenson and uh, Ben Revere. So 2016 update mega box. That was good. That was good. We'll find a place. Going to get these sleeved. Uh, now the Heritage High, these are uh, the next box I'm going to open is Heritage High Number Mega Box. Uh, these also have a chrome pack. Um, I think I bought 13 total boxes. I have seven left. And I'm going to open this one, so I'll have six left. Um, I did really well. Two, the, the last box I just had, I got bored and I ripped a box. It was a pretty crappy box. But the first, I don't know how many, six, the first six boxes I opened, five or six, uh, were awesome. Uh, pulled a red ink auto Michael Chavis number to like 67. Um, the last box kind of stunk. So I'll have six left after this box. So this is the Heritage Chrome. And uh, I think I'm going to just leave those sealed for either a rainy day or just kind of speculate. Um, as John Newman says, let those marinate. So here we go with Joe Harvey. Sergio Romo. Who's that? Taylor Clark. Norton. We got an insert of Blake Snell. Nick Anderson, rookie. So this set has uh, Pete Alonzo, rookie. It has um, Tatis and Vlad Jr. Um, so those are the biggies. But there's still a solid class behind those. Um, I think maybe Sen Nick Senzel has rookies in here. Um, so there's a good second tier of rookies as well. Matt Moore. Wade Miley. <clears throat> Brad Brock, Cub. So that's what, four Cubs tonight? Scott Oberg. Carson Kelly. Freeze and Narvaez. These were on sale. I can't remember what the price was. I think 40 was the price for Black Friday on these, which is a great deal because uh, Daniel Descalso, Cub. Uh, I think these retailed for 30 uh, these were, I believe, Target exclusive. Samarja. 
Former Cub Samarja, followed by former Cub Dan Vogelbach. Uh, Carter Keyboom or Kaiboom is also uh, in here. Brendan Rogers. So those are some of the second tier guys. Uh, Austin Riley, um, another decent decent rookie. Although he uh, fell kind of off the face of the earth after a really hot start. Griffin Canning. Uh, Trevor Richards, Caleb Smith, Domingo Santana, here's Yelich, and Richard Lovelady. What a name. What a name. Richard Lovelady. And Ian Kinsler. So these were a good bang for your buck because there's a lot of packs in here. What's the uh, 15 packs plus the chrome? Eric Stamets, uh, Jake Bowers. I actually just sold, a, I pulled a Jake Bowers chrome out of one of the boxes and I sold that recently. Hank Aaron has an insert set in these. Andy Diaz, Joe Kelly, John Hokan. He's from Guangzhou. George, where's Guangzhou? There's more South Korean guys in baseball than I thought. Dick Lovelady. Mark Reynolds. Tyler Glasnow. Swihart. Mark Hakus. Dominic Leon. Dwight Smith Jr., Zach Britton, Ryan McMahon, for my buddy uh, Andy up in Buffalo, the Ryan McMahon Super Collector at SoCal Hobby Club. So I thought there might have been a Chrome in here. So I've been getting a Chrome card in, in the packs as well. Nikki Lopez, rookie. Chris Paddock. I'm really looking forward to baseball just to see who I love. There's Pete Alonzo. Pete Alonzo, rookie. I just love the, the breakout rookies like who? Like maybe maybe Jason Martin will like blow up all of them. That's, that's the fun. Really all sports, that's the fun. I guess you don't really have it as much in football, but I'm also kind of removed from football cards. Um, I don't really collect football cards much. I, I did open some this year, um, but basketball, it's like on a, on a daily basis, somebody blows up with a 40 point game or something. Uh, Drew Jackson, Jed, Jacoby Jones and Josh Figley. All right. We're down to one, two, three, four, five, like seven packs. Don't tell Brad about the Alonzo. Actually, he's getting some. Um, I've got a package to send his way. Junior Guerra. Oh, Jerry. Uh, Jerry, thanks for tuning in. And uh, I'm going to take a, a quick break here to, to answer Jerry's question. Pujols, because I the answer is yes. Zach Davies, newest Cubs pitcher. Trade in the uh, oh, he was swapped for uh, Victor Caratini in that U Darvis trade. So uh, Jerry in the chat asks if I have ever heard of 1977 sportscaster cards. Funny you ask, because I have. I've got uh, I've got quite a few. Um, I've got Ken Anderson, 67 Packers. Uh, the Super Bowl. Uh, these are actually 78, though. Uh, this is 77. Larry Zonka and Jim Kick. So there's some boxing. So I actually bought these off like a Facebook group a couple years ago. There's auto racing. Um, auto racing. Um, 
some basketball, wild stuff like refereeing. Um, got Walt Clyde Frazier. Um, Rick Barry, that's a cool action shot, Rick Barry. Here we got some baseball here. It looks like Steve Garvey and Joe Morgan. That's from 78. Uh, so yeah, I bought a whole stack of these um, for like 10 bucks. Here's a classic, Richard Petty. That's a 77. Uh, I'm in Wisconsin, so these are popular. Paul Horning, the 67 Packers. Uh, Jimmy Taylor. Let me see if I have... Oh. Here we go. Here's here's some good guys. Red Grange. Gail Sayers. Looking for Julius Irving. Dr. J. Um, here's Kareem with the Bucks, the 70 71 Bucks. That's from that's a 78 sportscaster. Here's Bill Walton. I don't think I have Dr. J. Um Here's baseball, Johnny Bench, Jim Brown. Uh, here's a classic, George Foreman. Ten bucks for all. There was like seventy. Muhammad Ali. Uh, there were, and the only reason I, I bought them was because there were two uh, Cubs. There was an Ernie Banks and maybe a Rick Russell. So these are all baseball. Uh, got a Jackie Robinson. Yeah, they are cool. I dis I first discovered these um, a few years ago. I bought a Rick Russell. Um, so I don't think it was Russell that was in here because the, the two I did not have. It was Ernie Banks and I can't remember the second Cub. Um, but that's how I discovered them. And then I was just randomly in a, a Facebook group and somebody had them for like 10 bucks shipped. Um, so I'm like, well, heck, I'd... Hey, 10 bucks ship just for the Ernie Banks and the other Cub. Richie Ashburn, maybe, in a Cubs uniform. Um, so that's how I got those. But they're um, what, they're not really worth that much. They're only worth a, a few bucks. Even like the Jackie Robinson, Babe Ruth, and those guys are only worth, you know, five bucks. Um, and they're kind of a pain to ship. I do. I have them all. All of those are listed in my eBay store for like five or six bucks um, shipped. Um, I definitely give a discount if anybody wanted them, you know, make a bulk purchase um, just, you know, because I have to ship them in a bubble mailer. That's what makes it, you know, kind of annoying. I can't, they're a little too big to ship um, in a, in a standard envelope. I guess I could send them in kind of a, a larger white envelope. Um, so I don't sell them. I don't move them too often. In fact, I there's Nick Senzel. I had one. I think I sold one that I misplaced. And the buyer, you know, I said I can just give a refund or if, if, if there's any others. And he's like, you know, I take either Hank Aaron or Babe Ruth. And I sent him both of them uh, just because I made the mistake. And um, so he was appreciative. That's the problem when I, I start getting so many listings is losing track of some. They get put in different piles. That's kind of a common, if I'm, when I'm sorting, if I, you know, some of the, the, even since I came back in the hobby, some of the, the tops, I don't, I get going in a hurry and, and don't realize which year. So I s stick them in like a 2016 um, row in a box. There's a Pete Alonzo. And uh, it's like, you know, say 2015 or 2018. So then when I, you know, get an order to fill um, and it's in the wrong slot, um, causes issues. So two more packs left. So no Tatis, no Vlad Jr. here, but we did pull a couple of Alonzos. Texas Card Dude will be happy. Cole Tucker, rookie. The other one that could break out. Elvis Luciano. Frazier. 
Frazier and Frazier, Adam and Clint, back to back. Max Fried, is it? I would probably know this if you're still with me. Is it Max Fried or Max Freed? I never know. One pack and then the chromes. So this is actually, this is a pretty bad box. This is not a good box. Uh, Brandon Kinsler Cubs. Watching this has made Porter's Night awesome. 2019 score football. Very cool. Yeah, I think I'm going to watch. I think the Bucks and the Lakers are on right now. I think they tipped off at 6.30, so I think I'm going to go upstairs. I got a lot of shipping done earlier this afternoon. Um, go upstairs and watch some NBA. Jenny is getting in pretty close to that set being complete. Nice. I've got uh, – I actually um, – yeah, I've got a, a trade. Actually, I'm not trading. I'm actually buying some uh, one of my guys that I've done some big bulk trades with. Um, I think he's he either has a client here in Madison or like a daughter that lives here. Um, so he's coming up here in a couple of weeks um, and I'm buying 16,000 Cubs cards. So that'll be my first big bulk Cubs deal of the year. And I want to get out to Cleveland um, to do a, a big trade. And uh, I want to get out, uh, or I've got a guy in St. Louis with a big ball trade. And I want to hit uh, Bloomington down to, to Mike Summer shop. And, uh, and uh, I think he said he's got 30,000 already for me. So uh, Tom Gibson thinks it's uh, pronounced free. Tom, uh, I think I got a package from you. I haven't opened it, but uh, if that was you. Thank you and to you. So here's the chrome. We've got uh, Merrill Kelly, and that's numbered to Fadi Robinson Chirinos, number to 570, all number to 570. So this was kind of a, a want wah Francisco Mejia and Kevin PR. Uh, so that was kind of a, a letdown. Not a not a great box on the Heritage. I liked uh, the uh, the 2016 update blaster was uh, uh, was in my opinion a better rip than the Heritage High. We did get some Alonzos and of course the Chromes, but uh, nothing else. I'll have to go back and look because there are there's usually I think three high numbers um, sh high number short prints in these. Um, so I've got to go back through the pile and, and pull those, pull a couple cubs. So uh, I'll get that count, and I'll have to update that count. I'll get uh, get those packages sorted out. So thanks for tuning in. Um, I appreciate the uh, couple people reached out this morning, making sure I was all right. That's awesome. Thank you so much for thinking about me. Um, I will be back at my normal time tomorrow. Um, 7 15 ish tomorrow's friday awesome um i don't know if i'm gonna hit any retail tomorrow um just kind of based on our areas just is swamped with people um down retail so not really worth my time in my opinion so uh thanks everybody for for chatting and uh and joining me tonight um tom said i sent a pack about a year ago i'm working on another right now I did receive a package. And I thought it was from a Tom Gibson um, just today. So I'll have to, I'll have to see. Maybe there's a different Tom Gibson. Um, I'll have to check that out. So uh, thanks everybody for, for tuning in. Uh, back at it tomorrow morning around 7.15 Central. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, by the way, Saturday mentioned it. Uh, KBO Collections. Um, I'll be on with George and Dan on Saturday night, 7 p.m. Central. Um, I'll make sure I'm in the other room where I've got a better Wi-Fi connection. So, I don't, um, get kicked off like I, I tend to. So, uh, uh, check that out on, on KBO collections channel. Thanks guys. And, uh, have a great rest of your night.